Today I'll show you how to replace the throttle body assembly on your Mercedes ML350. This is the 2006 model and up. So sit tight and I'll show you how to remove and install this unit. As always, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more goodies. We're going to remove the engine cover, put that away. Then we're going to take off the air intake housing and hoses took off that clip back there and we're going to pop this up remove this hose as well that's the circulation secondary circulation pump hose put that in a safe place in this video, I have removed the air intake manifold so that we can easily replace the throttle body assembly. But if you need to see how to remove all the wiring harnesses, you should take a look at my video where I show you how to do a mass airflow and an air intake replacement. The details for that video is in the description below. I'm sure I'll get some comments about not having to remove the air intake manifold to do this job but for simplicity I have removed the air intake manifold especially for access for the camera etc so sit back and enjoy the video we're looking at the back of the air intake manifold that we just took off so we're looking at the throttle body assembly on this air intake manifold and we're going to remove it and uh, it's held down by the same T10 um, bolt four of them so we're going to just go ahead and remove that all right when you're taking it off this little lip on the gasket just take that off lift that up to take that off and uh, we're going to save this part because we're going to be putting this part on the new one of course we're going to clean up this residue before we do that all right when you're taking it off this little lip on the gasket just take that off lift that up to take that off okay so guess what I'm putting on the gasket for the air intake uh, port this part right here and uh, only goes on one way okay see this little cutout right there A little holder so I'm just gonna make sure that it's dry and clean I'm not gonna put a razor on this I'm not going to sand this down or damage the face in any way I'm just gonna clean it Put the new gasket on. This lip right here goes over that notch right there. Okay? It's a nice fitting part. Okay? I'm not going to put it to stand on its side because all the plastic pieces up front will break. Your connection piece goes to the left side where the uh, fuel line is, like that. I'm zooming in, zooming in because I want to show you guys something. There's a little uh, cutout right here that fits over that pin 
that's there to hold the gasket in place and you can take a flathead screwdriver and just make sure you press it in that's just to hold it in place until you put the device in place okay don't damage the car don't damage the part that's it now these four, these four screws these four screws zoom back out these four screws that I have placed there have a blue thread lock on them if you look closely you can see that no brand no advertising you just need to get yourself some thread locker blue get it at your parts store and it just prevents the threads or the screws on the part that you're putting back on from vibrating free. You don't want that to vibrate free when you're on the highway miles from home. Worst thing to happen. You only put this thread blue, this thread locker on screws that you already see it on okay don't go putting it on every every screw out there I like to put it straight down the just straight down one side and when you screw it into the female end it will spread itself out Just use this as a guide. Put two opposing sides in place as far as I can do it by hand. You always start these kind of fittings by hand so that you don't cross thread it and damage damage it in any way. These are T Tens, T tens in size. I'm just starting it by hand. in a diagonal fashion Alright, so some of you guys are going to say, hey, how much 
How much pounds per square inch do you torque that down? Here's my little torque um, tool that I'm going to use. I wouldn't tighten these things down too tightly, um, to be honest with you. Aluminum, going into aluminum. so light it doesn't even measure on my torque wrench it just doesn't doesn't measure at all uh, let's see ten About ten. Yeah, ten. Of course, it could go tighter. It could go a lot tighter. And then it could pop or strip it out. Then you're like, ah, my air intake manifold is gone. So ten. Yeah, ten. That's that. Bah. Okay, you know what this is? Your air, mass airflow sensor goes into this, and then this goes into here. Like this. At this point, you would take your air intake manifold and reinsert it, reassemble it into the vehicle, and you're all done.